So now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the orientation of the hips. Um, so how this is working. Now you can see on the contact position, so this is my contact, uh, the leg, sorry, the hips is pointing toward the front leg. So on a front view like, like this, it's pointing in this direction, as from a top view, it's, point, it's pointing in this direction. So on the contact, the leg, um, the hips, is pointing toward uh, the front leg. And, I mean, does it just like turn like this, a little, a little bit less or a little bit more? Or here it is like turn a little bit less, a little bit more, maybe it's even like this, but it's not like really important. What is important at least is that and like an, on the top view it should not be oriented like this for sure. So it should point toward the front leg. And maybe like this is more like this, it's not very important, but it should generally like point toward the front leg. And on the down position, because like the um, the the hips are taking the weight of the of the body, the hips are inversing their um, orientation. I'm just gonna put it like this. So yeah, so the hips are inversing on the down position, and this, uh, from a top view or side view, whatever, like the hips are beginning to turn to reach the next uh, contact position. Now it's turning like I can. Now on this example, I, I'm kind of favoring the next um, contact position with the down, but. Does it is like turning like this a little bit less or a little bit more? It's not very important. I mean, the thing is that <coughs> hair is inversing and hair is beginning to turn to reach the next contact position. And you can see on the uh, passing position that the hips, because we are like pushing with our leg, um, that the hips is starting to come up. So yeah, that's the thing. So hair is starting to come up, and now, and on the side view, is uh, continuing to turn to reach the next contact position. And for sure, I'll as you will like expect, on the up position, the hips is continuing to turn, to turn up a little bit, and so like this. I mean, does it is like this, like this? on the up position, or a little bit more torn, like I did, it's not very important, the thing is that it's continuing to go up, and it's the same thing from a side view or top view is continuing to turn to reach the next contact. And for sure, on the next um, contact position, now it's pointing toward the front leg, so here the um, green leg, and again, the down is inversing, passing, it's going up, the up position uh, it's continuing to go up and under contact is um, is pointing toward the front leg so yeah and now from a from a side view I'm just gonna unhide this so now from a front view like what will be like the orientation of the hips like for sure you want you don't want a, a bird uh, walk meaning that you don't want like your torso to be going like uh, like back forward back forward back forward like too much like if it was a, a bird I'll give you an example if I'm doing kind of this like you don't want like this kind of walk where the the torso is moving like too much forward so, but the thing is that you want like on the down position, so to get a, a changing uh, shape of the upper torso, of the, of the upper body, so that you can show the weight between the contact and the down. So, I'm just gonna take the good thing. So, like this, so you want to show the weight with that changing shape. 
but you don't want your torso to go too much forward. So what will, you will do is like control rotate the rotation of the torso with the rotation of the hips. So from a side view, like in this angle, what will happen is that on the down position, maybe you want like to rotate your hips back so that you can rotate your uh, torso forward. So yeah. And the thing about the bird walk, um, Richard, uh, Richard, blah, 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 blah. Richard William is talking about this at page um, 123. So yeah, you can check this, check this uh, if you want. So yeah, that's it for the orientation of the hips. Hey, hi again. So uh, this is the last part of the video. Thanks for watching uh, so far. So, um, like, we talked about a lot of the, like, det little detail uh, with the hips and kind of a lot of detail here, but I think that what is important to understand is more like the general movement of the hips, how the hips work in a general uh, way. So, like, if we, if we take a look at this little example here that I have, this animation is very simple, but it's working like uh, really well too. And you can see that, okay, like, you just need like to define the hips movement more in a general way and not really like in teeny, de teeny details. So, like here, you have uh, here, 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 here. Oh man, this is so good. You have <coughs> so like he put his weight on this foot so that uh, the weight is taking the the hips down on this um, on this leg so the the hips is oriented like this that's a weight shift here and then the hips oriented like this because he's putting his weight on the other foot and then because he is uh, uh, first, so now he's like kind of bringing his uh, right foot up so that the hips is going up. So just thinking about like, okay, the hips are oriented like this, and now it's like this, and now it's up, and now it's down, like more in the general uh, movement of the hips and not like in really, really like teeny details, which is not important. And so what he does here is really like. Uh, yeah, so a weight shift. I have a little example here. Oh, it's not this, it's this. So yeah. So like, she is putting like, her weight on one foot, on one leg. So that the hips, the gravity likes pull, pulling down the hips on one side. So yeah. And for example, like in this example, this is an example from a Die Another Day, a James Bond movie. With the beautiful Halle Berry. And I'm just gonna play this one time. So yeah. So yeah, you can see that when she's like pushing like to climb here so she's pushing like the hips is going up so yeah that's it and on the wall here like this is the contact and on the down position the hips is inversing and then contact and then down so right there so you know just defining like okay now now like the hip is going up because she's pushing and then now the hips like is inversing because it's taking the weight just like defining like this movement and orientation like general orientation of the hips is what we want to do like defining like the general movement but not, we don't need like to go uh, like teeny teeny, uh, teeny teeny details which I did like uh, previously, but it's not really like, what we want. 
like for sure like if you are if you are like animating a, a front side walk cycle like realistic walk cycle where like we will see like the same animation in a demo reel for example like uh, five or six times like repeated maybe like yes in this case like we want to go more into details but otherwise what is important is like the general movement of the hips and like in this like this class uh, example that I have it's uh, another uh, very good animation like in this part of the animation you can see that you like the hip now is oriented like this now it's like this and the other pose is like this and the other pose is like like this and yeah so it's kind of very simple and you can see here that just in this little part of the animation he didn't go like crazy with the hips rotation maybe like it should go down here but it doesn't and we don't really care I mean the timing the up and down movement is already like very good of the hips and now you can see that it's kind of turning left starting to turn left and that's it that is like what will sell, sell the movement like the general movement but not we don't need like to go into too much in teeny, de teeny details and really I mean that's the same thing like with a walk here is a, another example example from a handshake and that's a very like very good um, little movie from uh, Patrick Smith uh, you can find his movie on YouTube and you can uh, this I, I buy this so you can buy his movie on his uh, website it's kind of five, five dollar I think it's not very expensive and that very uh, a good movie and this is like what we talk about uh, in the first slide of the tutorial like what will like if you want a walk to look like a walk what the only thing like that you need is having like the three basic uh, characteristic that we talk about meaning like the the hips and leg are opposing the torso and arm uh, rotation we have uh, up and down movement and we have lateral movement so if you have if you have like just like two characteristic for example um, the legs opposing the arm and the up and down movement like people will you you will sell like your walk cycle with just this like people will will be oh yeah that's look like a, a walk cycle so you can see like the core for sure it is like 2d so it's, for this it is not very really, like realistic uh, animation like super realistic animation so for this it's passing uh, more uh, more well but you can see like in her walk at the beginning of the film so just there like it's look like a walk but she there's not a lot of drying here and the movements kind of very simple like she, she just have like her leg opposing her arms and up and down movement and that's it so that's the same thing like with the hips like we need like to define the general general movement but the like really really like teeny details are not in most cases uh, not that important so yeah so thank you for watching uh, this video and uh, have a good day